peace, peace happen now. Now the vibrate, of course. Not going too far in the future. Not going too far in the past. Right now. Uh, I was sitting here, you know, in the sun. Finished meditating. Working with this uh, yellow appetite. This rainbow floor, right? And also working with this uh, smoky quartz. And basically, uh, I was sitting here and I caught the, uh, which I didn't spoke on this before, but you know, it just kind of came to me and a vibe like if you're working, if you have your crystal, so like as you're sitting down, just sitting down simply, you know, because like right now I'm sitting down. You, know, you see the balance, that's what. That's why I say things the way I say it, because you know how I made a video recently about, hey, it's about the internal sunshine. Still get the, you know, still connecting with the sun when it's there, you know what I'm saying? But you just know what time it is, or, or know what now it is on the inside as well. But, uh, <laughs> you know, again, I'm, I'm sitting here just holding the crystals, and I was like, hey, you know, uh, you know, again, the, when you have your left hand is your receptive hand, meaning it, it pulls energies in, you know. So in essence, pull energies inside your your body or inside your, uh, you know, for the most part, inside your body. And not saying that the as the left hand bringing energy, that that energy that you're bringing in your body is not fluctuating into your auric field, but you know, when when you're dealing with a crystal in in your left hand, or and as I'm saying, left hand asterisk, you know, hey, uh, some left handed people uh, may have it in a different uh, in a different hand, but you know, you'll be able to tell. But for the most part, most people, the left hand is the hand that, that pulls in, you know. So, you know, you want to put the crystal in your left hand that you want to affect your body immediately, you know. Uh, and also, I caught the, the, the vibe of like, uh, you know, how certain crystals could be like uh, antagonists of, or certain elements are like antagonists for other elements. And I think uh, it's calcium and, and, and magnesium. Matter of fact, let me make sure. But, you know, the whole aspect of, uh, you know, because I've been working with a lot of, like I've been eating. Uh, you know, foods with a lot of manganese in it. Or should I say fruits and, you know, fruits, vegetables and, you know, different things with uh, a lot of manganese in it and a lot of magnesium. And I know that uh, magnesium is uh, responsible for, you know, for stopping blood from clotting. But then at some aspect, you know, it's healthy for the blood to clot. And I'm, I'm about to see uh, which, I don't remember. I think it's calcium that, uh, but don't quote me just yet. Let me see what it say on the notes. Yep, calcium and magnesium. You know, uh, calcium, uh, cause, you know, helps the blood to clot when it's time for it to clot. You know what I'm saying? When it, when it helps for it to, uh, you know, different, different situations in our body call for different things, you know, different actions, you know, but, uh, you know, again, I was thinking like, all right, maybe I'm working with these calcium-based crystals because I know uh, appetite has a, a you know a, a calcium content, and I think uh, fluorite too as well. Don't quote me, but for sure both of them have fluorine in them. But you know, I'm like, all right, maybe for some reason uh, the fluorine and calcium should be, you know, that energy should be brought directly to the body. And I'm like, uh, with having the uh, smoky quartz in. I'm gonna put it down somewhere. We're having the, uh, oh, there you go. We're having a smoky quartz in my right hand. It's shooting out. So the right hand shooting it out into my auric field, you know. And again, just like vice versa. Not to say that when it's shooting out to my auric field, it's not affecting my body. But as it's shooting out to my auric field, you know, it's, di it's more so directly working in the auric field, first and foremost. Know, and, and, and you know, I think about smoky quartz has that uh, vibe of protecting you from electromagnetic smog and energies of that nature. 
So, you know, it would be good for that to flow into the aura. Or say, for instance, working with Labradorite. You know, if I was working with a Labradorite, I would probably hold it in my right hand because, uh, you know, Labradorite helps to heal the uh, heal tears in the aura. So you could hold a Labradorite and literally picture, you know, hold it in your hand and picture you, like, sealing your aura feel, like, on some, you know, you know how you patch up the whole, like, a fix a flat in essence, you know what I'm saying? Hold that Labradorite in your hand and kind of just... You could intuitively feel you know, the way it should be, like oh, around this area, maybe around my heart chakra, you know, maybe, you know, maybe around the spleen chakra, you know. But just be intuitive with it. And, and with doing a lot of things, try your best to not have no, uh, do your best to not have no uh, assumption about what should happen, or uh, you know, just like you know, follow your intuition. But uh. Yeah, so the right hand, you know, putting the energy out into your auric field, you know. So again, like if I want uh, some type of energy in, in my auric field, you know, and more so like I, I might want to heal, like, because in essence, your auric field also deals with your different, you know, you got your, uh, your I can't recall them all. I need to get better at that. Uh, <laughs> like, you know, your emotional body, your, your, uh, Astro body, like all your different, not astro, yeah, uh, all your different layers of your astro body, I should say, uh, of our auric field, you know. But like, if you want a crystal to, to work on on those aspects, you will hold that crystal in your uh, your right hand. Uh, as a matter of fact, I made a video on that. <laughs> Left hand, if you want to go into the body, you know. So, uh, as a matter of fact, I remember doing a video about like a, a rose quartz and hematite meditation, like you know, visualizing the, the, the a purple, I mean, a, a pink glow around your body, and then around that pink glow, like picture like a, a iron sheet, like a hematite, you know, as the shell of that pink little orb that you're in, you know. But uh, you know. And say, for instance, in that situation, you probably put the, the rose quartz in your left hand, you know, kind of going inward, you know, and then outward, and then having the, the hematite in your right hand going straight to the auric field, you know, providing a, a, a barrier on the auric field like that, but, you know. Again, uh, these different crystals have different elements in them, again, for the body, and, and, and that's something, too. You know, well, writing a journal and seeing little things, because again, it came to me just now. Like, all right, let me see what what uh, fluorine and, and and the calcium do. You know, and then you know, just saying it right now, I'm, I'm thinking about it. Yes, that's why I'm working with the uh, the appetite right now, because again, I've been having a high m magnesium intake, and that magnesium, you know, uh, helps for the uh, you know to to stop blood clotting. You know when it could get to a place of being harmful but then calcium helps to clot the blood you know what i'm saying and it's the same aspect of like with sodium uh coming into the body with with the water in general you know which water itself is not one element you know it's hydrogen with two two hydrogens and one oxygen or however that go you know with h2o but anyway uh <laughs> you know the, 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 the uh, sodium comes into the body and it dries up the water, you know. That's why too much sodium could dries up, you know. Or you imagine like eating something very salty, it feel like you're dry, you know what I'm saying? That's the, you know again, but it's a it's a balance. Same thing like how oxygen helps for the combustion in the body, but it also in essence help age the body, you know. You know, different little uh, give and take. Uh, Relationships with certain elements in the body, you know, there's a certain balance, you know. But uh, again, you know, just that difference from having a crystal in your left hand and right hand. I you know, just wanted to share that with you, again, because this was somewhat of a think fast moment. I just didn't, you know. It was funny. <laughs> I knew I was gonna do this. I guess so. I was about to do it at the beginning of the video. I started to make this a think fast, but. <laughs> I love myself unconditionally. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I love myself unconditionally, no matter the condition. 
no matter if I'd say that those things all the time in my video. Oh, you should have been. Hey, I love myself unconditionally. I'm not about to have no heavy heart about nothing simple like that. But, uh, <laughs> peace, peace, you know. Uh, and again, you know, just have a certain intuitive, you know, vibe with feeling it out. You know, try not to be in your brain so much about it. You know, uh, in the mind, you know, just kind of just go with the flow of what you're feeling. Like the first little crystal you gravitate toward. Because a lot of times, again, our higher self be saving us by having us like just go straight to what we're looking for. And I made a, uh, and I'm not going to go far off, but just a little quick, you know, like when you're in a grocery store or, you know, about to get something out of the grocery store and you go, you gravitate straight to what you want to buy. But then when you get the, then the thought process kicked in. Well, what if about this or you could get something else? Or, you know what I'm saying? But like where, where the flow went straight to is where it was at, you know, but then the other shit coming out trying to scramble stuff up and cause indecisiveness and like almost like a, you know, like a tear going two different ways at once. But just tap into the intuition with it. You know, again, left hand to bring energies more immediately into the body, right hand to, to, to uh, put the energy more immediately into the auric field. Now, now is the vibe The rate at which we're vibing. <laughs> By the beach. <laughs> Shout out to Chappelle with a happy. I'm from Jamaica. Messed here by the beach. <laughs> Stay by the beach. By the beach. <laughs> Have it now, y'all. Not too far in the future. <laughs> Not too far in the past. <laughs>